We are in Florence right now, but here definitely is a challenge to park. Like everywhere we go is crowded. I know it's New Year's Eve, but you cannot park everywhere. So it's really, really complicated. And we download the app Easy, Easy Park. But even using that one, it's difficult. You don't find a place. Sometimes it's like you, you see people, Italian people, parking in the middle of the street and I don't know why they, uh, they, they do like that because probably they are going to get a, a tax but, and the tax are really high here. So yeah, unfortunately here in Italy you need to rent a car because it's really difficult where we are right now to, to go everywhere without a car but it's also difficult to park so you need a car but you don't have places to park unfortunately and also they are really expensive like you're going to to park in the street and you're going to pay like 20 euros for three four hours i don't know why but this is uh how much they charge when we went to pisa anyway <music> In the end, we took uh, the ticket. I don't. I have. I definitely don't know how it works. Cause sometimes uh, in Pisa, when we we use it, uh, they charge on the phone, so you have to put the credit card. But this time, they, they gave us uh, a ticket. So yeah, I don't know how it works. That we don't get a tax here. Now let's explore Florence. So this one is open 24 hours. They charge one for the first hour, two for the second, and three for the third one. Found a market here which they sell things in a more affordable price. And they also sell vegetables while wow, they sell everything. They sell clothes, socks, and some jewelry. and we just found some obscene ones I, I'm going to show you on video here but it was just like I couldn't imagine that they sell things like that right here but yeah they sell <laughs> Uh, the first spot that you definitely need to visit is the iconic uh, Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, the cathedral that is known by the city, that took 140 years to be built, and it was constructed in 1296, so it took a lot of time. It was considered a long time ago as the highest cathedral in the world, but right now it's considered the third highest. And together with the cathedral, we have the baptistery just right over, so it's really close. This street, let's say, it takes you to the most important places here in Florence. Our plan was to visit the cathedral and the baptistery, but right now it's really like it's raining and it's really crowded. So we're going to Starbucks first and then we're going to check again if we have time, because like otherwise we have to stay, uh, to wait in the rain. So. Going there first, let's go. Now time for um. 
tallow person. Now after ordering a coffee, we are going back to the church to see if this time we can see it. Like to have one day just here in Florence being crowded like this, it's a bit of a challenge to visit all the places, but we're going to try. Here they sell the things of David. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you see that. The place is still crowded, so we're not going to enter in this one this time, because otherwise we won't have time to visit other attractions. So let's go to the next one. And for those who like games, this is one of the spots that appears in the Assassin's Creed game. Brother just love it, so we needed to visit. How big is the line? And it's crossing the air. Some coffee, walking in Italy. My mom always liked that. She always seems that she's in Antarctica. Did you guys just saw the chocolate passing in that wall? I really wanted to eat that right now, but I just ate three croissants of Nutella, so I cannot eat that right now, but that seemed tasty. They have the tradition to throw the coin in Fontana di Trevi and here they have so the tradition is you get the coin, you uh, place it in his nose, if it drops inside the fountain, your wish will become true, if it drops out, your wish is not going to come true. Let's see what, is, what will be mine. For this one, we are using a procedure coin. <laughs> Ah, it dropped inside the, the thing. My wish will come true. Will become true. I hope so. Hey, passa na nariz. Agora coloca na boquinha. Faz um desejo. Faz um desejo e aí larga. Ah, caiu também. Vamos lá. The wish of everyone will become true. We are really happy. So Florence is known and popular because they have the statue of David here, made by Michelangelo. But to visit, you need to go to the museum and you need to pay 57 euros. So it's too expensive and you have it free here and it's called Palacio Vecchio where the, the statue, it did an exactly uh, statue a replica of the one that they have in the museum and together with it they have the, the fountain of Neptune of the statue of David that has the same one in the museum so you can see it here freely the real one they it has five meters I don't know about this one but it's definitely big and it's definitely beautiful like imagine the, I don't know if you can see but I'll, I'll make the zoom of it they also uh, draw not draw, but they make it, the veins, the details of the statue is perfect, it's beautiful. This Palacio di Vecchio, it also has a free entrance, so it's definitely worth for you to visit this one. The 
family, the Medici family was definitely really uh, an influence. A lot of things here in Italy was a strong and powerful family. They started as a bankers and then they went to politics. So the Medici family, uh, they have a statue here in honor of one of the members of the family. In Livorno, they also have a lot of spots that was created by this family. They kind of built Livorno because in that time was destroyed. Uh, so uh, after a while, because of the family and everything, they created some spot that became a tourist spot for people to visit and they rebuilt the, the city. So the Medici family is definitely a family really important here in Italy. Here in the palace, you have a part that is not paid. So you can enter and take some photos. Definitely a great spot for you to take some photos. And have the other part that you have to pay. It's 35 euros for you to enter. It's another part of the museum and tell more of the history of this part of Florence. you definitely should visit we don't have time right now so we we are just passing by it's Piazza di Santa Maria di Novella because inside this church have the most beautiful and the most important let's say arts of the greatest artists because they wanted to mark art that work so they put it inside this church so it's definitely worth to visit inside because it's beautiful Next destination will be this one. This one was once a pharmacy, but right now is a perfume store. But in that, it's the oldest pharmacy in the world. So it's like it's really, really old, but it's really beautiful and has a part of the history uh, of Italy inside this one. that the line is big to visit but being a perfume store you can buy a perfume in the oldest pharmacy in the world it's beautiful inside
place that worth to visit is Plaza Michelangelo, which is the place for you to see the sunset. You can see the whole city, it's beautiful, but we're, we won't make it on time because right now we are going to the best sandwich in the world. And I'm going to show you. I don't know if I'm spelling it wrong, but this is this one is considered the best sandwich in the world. So definitely need to try it, and we are going to try it now. one is the summer but because they didn't have the light italiana which it's considered the best one but they, he said like this is the same so let's try it I need a bigger mouth to eat all that They approve it. I love it. They love it too. Just amazing. And one more thing here they don't accept a uh, credit card, just cash. Remember that when you come. And now it's time to pay. says 10 euros uh, we're going to use the credit card it paid now we have back grazie bon voyage it's paid Time for shopping! We are here because we wanted to buy some clothes for New Year's Eve. We decided to spend New Year's Eve in Venice, which it's considered one of the most beautiful New Year's Eve and we don't have clothes. So we want to go to Primark because right now they have a promotion. So I saw on internet that it, like it costs a lot of clothes are costing like the half of the price of us than this. So we are going there because we need also to buy a bag. My family is coming back to Brazil, so I want them to bring some things from Italy and also from our trip. So we're going to buy a bag in Primark. That flea Primark when I went in Portugal was the best. Like the prices for clothes, for bags, for everything were more cheap there. So here we are finding a lot of clothes with good price and we needed a bag, a big one and it cost 50 euros just like it's really really big this one is the best price that we found in the end we bought the bag that we need we also passed in the market we have the clothes now for the uh, New Year's Eve so we basically are ready, we can go now. And now ending this video in this beautiful city of Italy. It was an amazing day, we could explore a little. But 
my recommendation is for you to spend at least two days here because that's a lot and the city is crowded so it's difficult to visit everything thank you for watching i hope you give it a like subscribe to my channel and let's go to the next adventure we're going to explore a bit more of uh italy of italy and tomorrow it's new year's eve so check it out